Hello and uh, welcome to another episode of This guy really must like little because uh, you see me in my uh, little slippers while I was fixing TVs multiple times and I keep fixing uh, trash that I buy and break from little and today is no different because we are fixing another cordless soldering iron except this time it is uh, not as crappy as previous one at least I hope uh, because it actually has a built-in lithium-ion battery and a stand which is kinda neat and uh, uh, I mean it's still way too crappy to have uh, actual temperature controlled tips but uh, I mean this thing was probably around 5 euros when uh, the guy bought it I didn't actually buy this uh, the friend of mine gave it to me I like this this uh, soldering iron tip implementation it actually it's hilarious so they used a small Edison base like they were used in the old-fashioned uh, battery lights emergency lights and they slapped a soldering iron tip on it which is hilarious so the issue with this uh, soldering iron is not the sand it is actually fairly fairly nice the the battery the actual soldering st the actual soldering iron does have some pretty nice some weight to it so this thing has two issues as far as i can see so when you screw in the actual tip well you can't really screw it because you can't really screw it because this metal is actually broken off so we need to fix that and the actual bigger problem of this soldering iron is the the fact that it doesn't actually turn on so when you plug it in obnoxious blue cable in if I plug it in it does actually glow green which uh, should indicate that it is fully charged but when I try to turn it on uh nothing actually happens so what i think happened here because uh because as you can see the soldering tip has two contacts one is this negative and this is positive so which would indicate that this broken bit of metal is negative and it is fairly clearly able to touch the positive so i think actually i think something has actually burnt inside of this soldering iron so i want to i want to try to see if we can fix it okay so in theory i should be able to it's falling apart <laughs> okay so here's the insides of the actual soldering iron so yeah this thing is definitely broken off well nothing looks melted or broken it has a nice uh, 1500 milliamp hour battery. The USB C is mounted on the donor board, which is fine. Okay, so first thing I would like to do is uh, I would like to test whether the, the battery is over discharged because sometimes batteries, when they over discharge, uh, the charging circuit won't let them charge again so yeah this is at 0 0.73 of a volt so let's try to plug it in it glows green let's see if the voltage across the battery is actually rising I would actually say no so here is something you should actually never do but I'm stupid and I do stupid things 
So let's try to jump start the battery. So this is a typical power supply. I will connect these uh, these wires have a fairly high internal resistance so uh, it's even if I short across the power supply it's not really a short circuit the wires will just heat up slowly uh, I said uh, I am using 3.3 volts and uh, current is limited by the horrible wires so let's try to jump start it Oh, of course I reversed polarity, of course I would do such thing. And the battery is literally at zero volts now. Oh, that's not good. Of course I would put a red wire on ground, of course I would do such thing. Okay, let's try to do it right way up and hope the battery doesn't explode on me <laughs> okay the wires are heating up so it is taking current 2.3 volts I think that should be enough for us to yeah as you can see the actual charging circuit has decided okay the voltage is uh, voltage on the battery isn't terrible it's time for me to take over and now it is charging the battery and now I can even turn on the front LEDs also uh, of course the voltage of the battery is still way too low for for uh, for white LEDs which has which have about 3.2 volts voltage drop I think let's monitor the voltage and it is just about 3.15 so while the battery is charging I would like to try to see if I can do anything about the if I can do anything about the how did he even break this from what I can gather that this outer ring is what this thing was hooked up to and it got broken so what I'm thinking is I want to try to take that ring out and try to solder this metal back to this ring and uh, see where that gets us. Give me the logo so I know where I am. So this is the little little piece and as you can see it has these little things I don't know what to call it uh, and uh, this little ring went over the little things and it was kind of like crimped this bit of metal was actually crimped to the ring and it managed to break off so I will try to bend these little flaps in so I can slip the metal ring in and try to recrimp it and of course then I will solder it back and I will also solder it so it doesn't break again I hope the solder won't melt once the heater is running That would be a disaster. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of recrimped it. It can still move, but now I will put a bit of solder.
it should work it appears to be solid I don't think it's going anywhere and the hole is open so I shouldn't have to worry about it shorting out especially because this plastic should hold it in place so I should be able to zoom out. I should be able to solder it back in. It's definitely touching the positive, so I'm going to try to kind of widen the hole maybe. Okay, this this really is a stupid design. So, see how close how small the gap is. Like how did you expect it not to short when designing this thing? Ah, how do I widen it? Okay, so I made a way bigger hole. I hope this now will work. So, solder it back in. Okay, it should be fine, I hope. Now if I screw the tip back in, Can I turn the soldering iron on? So the key is that I have to press both buttons. And then it works. Okay, so... If I screw the tip in and turn it on. Yeah, the tip is getting hot. Fuck. Can it melt solder? I mean, the battery is working. Yeah, it's melting solder. That's nice. So I did fix it. Let's now put it back together. And be done with this one. Okay, so now that the soldering iron is complete and it is charging with 1.04 amps, so I'd say the battery is relatively healthy, it's not getting hot, which is fairly important. Uh, now, if I flick it on, we also get the light and let's try to use it to, it's not fully charged yet, but... Um, I don't feel like waiting. Uh, I would like to see how well it performs. So I'll leave it. I'll hold it on so it warms up. Okay, maybe let's try to desolder this capacitor. Okay, first the leg that isn't on the ground. That's good. And now the bigger pad that is on the ground. Huh, it actually does work quite nicely. Let's try a transistor. One leg, second leg, and the third leg. Yeah, I'd say this thing is fine. C945. Let's try to solder it somewhere. Say I want to solder it to this chip. First pin, second pin, third pin. And I can solder it like this. 
and just like that we have a pointless transistor soldered straight to the chip this capacitor let's solder it somewhere also let's solder it here one leg second leg good the capacitor is soldered let's try the fuse oh it does not like the fuse okay so for those smaller components as you can see it's fine this is properly soldered and this is properly soldered but uh, don't it can desolder these chips because I just soldered I just soldered these components to the chips and it's melting them without problem but a bigger ground plane or uh, one of these bigger components or a fuse is a no go this this is uh, this this is uh, way too weak for that so this is this would be a good Arduino uh, for someone that just needs to solder wires to the Arduino board or the headers or diodes, this would be absolutely fine. And that's it. We fixed it. Yeah.